How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Donnie here again. This time we're going to take a look at some practice problems for 20.2, balancing redox reactions. So we want to be able to balance them by using the half reaction method in acidic as well as basic solutions. So you can see kind of a uh, quick screenshot of what the steps are going to be. So let's take a look. How many electrons are involved in the reduction half reaction of chlorine to the chloride ion? So I know I'm going to start with chlorine. I'm going to end up as a chloride ion. Now chlorine is one of those diatomic molecules, one of the Brinkelhoffs. So it can't ever just be Cl0. It's got to be Cl2, zero, which means, hey, I got to make some room. When I end up with the chloride ions, I'm going to end up with two of them. I can't just start with Cl2 and end up with one Cl. I can't disappear things. All right, so how is that going to happen? Well, I've already made sure that my atoms are balanced. I got two chlorine atoms and two chlorine atoms on the right. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to look at is the charge. On the left side, I have a charge of zero. And on the right side, I have a total charge of minus two. So I'm going to balance charges by adding electrons. So electrons have a negative charge. So I can't make anything more positive, but I can make one side more negative. So this zero, how am I going to get that down to minus two? I'm going to add two electrons to the left side. So now the charge on the left is equal to the charge on the right. So are the number of the chlorine atoms. Everything is balanced. So the answer here is going to be two. How many electrons are involved? Two electrons. Number two, what is the coefficient of the permanganate ion when the following equation is balanced in an acidic solution? So first step is to split the redox reaction into a half reaction. So um, let's take a look. I got MnO4 minus arrow Mn plus 2. So first things first, you're going to want to balance any of the elements that aren't the oxygen or hydrogen. Here, all we got is Mn. It's balanced. There's one on the left one on the right. The next step you're going to want to do is to balance the oxygens by adding water. So I got four oxygens on the left and I got none on the right. So I'm going to have to add four H2Os. So now I got four, four oxygens on both sides. Next, you're going to balance the hydrogens by adding H+. So wait, on the right side I have eight H's. So I have to add eight H pluses on the left to balance all of that. So now that's all balanced. Now what? Well, now I got to balance the charge by adding electrons. So I got to look at the charge. Well, on the left, I have eight pluses and a single minus. So I have plus seven on the left. And on the right, I have just a plus two. So again, if I'm adding electrons, which are negatively charged, I can't make a charge go up, but I could bring a charge down. So I'm going to have to bring a positive seven down to the positive two. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to add five electrons. So I got five electrons plus eight hydrogens plus MnO4 minus gives me Mn plus two and four H2Os. All right, so now I need to look at the second half reaction. I got Br minus arrow Br2. Now, balance everything that isn't oxygen or hydrogen. Hey, I got two bromines on the right. I mean, I need to have two on the left as well. So I fixed that. Next step, balance the oxygens. Hey, the oxygens, they're zero on both sides. All right, check. Balance the hydrogens. Um, they're zero on both sides as well. Check, that's done as well. Now balance the charges by adding electrons. Well, I have two minuses. So I have a minus two on the left and I have a zero on the right. All right, so I got to add two electrons on the right to bring that charge back down to minus two. That's all good and dandy now. Now, to combine them, I have to go, hey, if I'm gaining five electrons here, but I'm only losing two electrons there, that's not an even exchange, all right? I need to make sure that the electrons lost have to equal the electrons gained. You can't gain electrons from nowhere. You can't lose them and have them disappear into nothingness. So what number? does a two and a five have in common? Well, I can get both of them to 10. So I want to times the top by two and the bottom one by five. So let me distribute that. Now I have 10 electrons. I have 16 H pluses. I have two MnO4 minuses. I have two Mn plus twos and I have eight H2Os. Now let me distribute this five. 
I no longer have two BR minuses, I have 10. I have five BR2s and I have 10 electrons. So now when I combine and cancel out what I can't, hey, I have 10 electrons on the left, I have 10 electrons on the right, they're gonna cancel out. Uh, does anything else cancel out? I don't think so. So now I just bring everything down. I'm left with 16 H pluses, plus two MnO4 minuses, plus 10 Br minuses, and then arrow, well, I got two Mn plus twos. I have eight H2Os, and I have five Br2s. So this is my balanced redox reaction. The question's asking for the coefficient of the permanganate ion. So what is the coefficient in front of that? It is a two. So final answer, two for question number two. All right, number three, what is the coefficient for the dichromate ion when the following equation is balanced in an acidic solution? All right, so, oh cool, they already did all the charges and stuff for the whole thing pretty much. Uh, let's break it up into two half ones. Uh, I'm gonna start with Fe plus two, because why not? Fe plus two becomes Fe plus three. Balance everything that isn't oxygen and hydrogen, check, iron one on each side. Balance the oxygens, check, zero. Hydrogens, balanced, check, they're both zero. Uh, now balance the charges. Well, I got a plus two on the left and a plus three on the right, so I'm gonna have to add an electron to the right to make the charges plus two on both sides. So now let's check out this Cr207 minus two half reaction. Well, we're, what's it end up as? Cr plus three. All right, so balance everything that's not oxygen and hydrogen. Hey, I got two CRs on the left, but only one on the right. So I'm gonna have to put a two in front of that to balance that out. Now balance the oxygens by adding water. All right, well, I have seven on the left, so I'm gonna have to add seven H2Os on the right. Oxygens are now balanced. Next step, balance the hydrogens. Uh, well, there's seven times two, so there's 14 hydrogens on the right, which means I'm gonna have to add 14 H pluses to the left. All right, now what? Now I need, ooh, sorry. <laughs> now I need to balance the charges. So if I take a look, I have a minus two on the left. I have a plus six on the right, because I have two of those plus three. Uh, so how am I gonna, oh wait, I lied. I'm sorry, I don't have just a minus two. I forgot, I forgot about these hydrogens. Plus 14 and a minus two gives me a positive 12. So again, I can't, bring the charge up but i can bring it down by adding electrons so i'm gonna to have to add six electrons to the left to bring that charge back down to six now that half reaction is all balanced so next step i gotta get the electrons lost to be equal to the electrons gained if this needs six electrons to happen and this is only giving up one electron it's gonna to have to happen six times so i'm gonna to have to distribute the six and go hey six fe plus two gives me six fe plus three and six electrons. So now that I got my electrons lost equal to my electrons gained, now I can combine and cancel out any like terms that are able to be canceled out. Let's see, six electrons on the left cancels out the six electrons on the right. Uh, and I think that's about it. So I end up with six Fe plus two and 14 H pluses and a CR207 minus two, and on the other side of the arrow, six Fe plus threes, and two CR plus threes, and seven H2Os. So that's uh, number three, the question, what was the question though? What is the coefficient of the dichromate ion? So what is the coefficient of that? It's one. So the final answer to actually answer the question is one. That's what the coefficient is. Four, what is the coefficient of Fe plus three when the following equation is balanced in a basic solution? All right, so we're gonna have an additional step since it's a basic solution. So we start off the same, split it up into two half reactions. I am gonna start with Fe plus three, arrow, Fe plus two, balance everything that's not oxygen or hydrogen, done. Balance oxygens, done. Balance hydrogens, done. Balance charges, all right. I'm gonna have to have an electron on the left so that I end up with a plus two on both sides. So now I could take a look at what's going on with the CN minus. It becomes 
C and O minus. How is that possible? Well, let's balance it. Uh, balance everything that's not oxygen and hydrogen, one carbon on both sides, one nitrogen on both sides. Balance the oxygens by adding H2O. So I'm gonna need one H2O to balance the one oxygen. Add H plus to balance the hydrogen. So I'm gonna need two H pluses on this side. Um, and now balance the charges. So on the left side, I have a minus one. On the right side, I have minus one pl plus two, so a positive one overall, which means I'm gonna have to add two electrons right there. All right, so now what can we do? This H plus not gonna show up in a basic solution. You could try to handle it now, or you could try to handle it at the end. I'm gonna handle it at the end because I can do everything normal until then. All right, so electrons lost is two, has to equal electrons gained only one. So I'm gonna have to times everything by two. So two electron plus two Fe plus three gives me two Fe plus two. Now I can combine like terms. Uh, the two electrons cancel each other out because they're on opposite sides of the arrow. And I have two Fe plus three uh, and an H2O and a Cn minus. And then let's see on the right side, I have two Fe plus twos and a CnO minus and two H pluses. Now let's fix those H pluses. We're not gonna have a lot of those in a basic solution. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add enough OH minuses to neutralize the H pluses. So if I did, hey, plus two OH minuses to both sides, What's gonna to happen to the two H pluses? It's gonna give me two water molecules. So now I need to see, hey, now that I've made two water molecules, I had one on the left side. I have two on the right side. So that H2O is gonna get canceled out on the left and one of those H2Os on the right is gonna get canceled out. So now I have a single H2O on the right and hey, I added two hydroxides on the left, so I'm just saving space by erasing and writing stuff in. So this should be the final balanced equation, right? And there you go, two Fe plus three plus two OH minuses plus CN minus gives me two Fe plus two CNO minus and H2O. Number five, how many electrons appear in the following half reaction when it is balanced. All right, so let's see. We have, I'm gonna rewrite it bigger. S4, O6, minus two, arrow, S2, O3, minus two. All right, so balance everything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. Well, there's sulfurs. I got four on the left. I only have two on the right, so I'm gonna to have to put a two in front of that. And then, hey, wait a minute. I've just balanced the oxygens as well. The hydrogens, they're balanced as well. But let's look at the charge. I have minus two on the left, and I have two sets of minus two, so I have minus four on the right. So in order to balance the charge, I'm gonna to have to add two electrons to the left. So how many electrons appear? Two. There you go. Number six, the balanced half reaction in which the sulfate ion is reduced to the sulfite ion involves how many electrons? So let's start, well, sulfate is the SO4 minus two, and the sulfite has one less oxygen, but the same charge. So let's balance it. All right, sulfurs, they're balanced. Oxygens, hmm, I'm gonna have to add an H2O on the right side to balance the oxygens. But now I gotta balance these hydrogens, so I'm gonna need two H pluses on the left. Now I can take a look at charge, right? So I got two pluses and a minus two, so overall the charge here is zero but on the right side, it's minus two. So how do I balance that? I balance the charge by adding electrons. I'm gonna need two electrons on the left, so now the charges are balanced. So in the balance half reaction, uh, how many electrons? In this case, again, two electrons, all right? Last one for this section, balance the following equation in an acidic solution and determine the coefficient H plus and its location, right or left side, in the equation. So this is, uh, a little obnoxious, right? But let's let's take a look. Um, let's split it up. I got Cn minus uh, arrow Cn 
I'm not even sure what's going. Let's let's let let's go old school. All right, let's balance. Uh, CNN's balance, AG's balance, but oxygen is not balanced. So I'm going to have to add H2O on this side, and I'm going to have to add two of them. So I balance the oxygens, which means now I got to balance the hydrogens. I'm going to have to add uh, four H pluses on the left side to balance that out. And now I got to look at the charges. Well, on the right side I have a plus one yeah a plus one and on the left side I have I think a minus one no I sorry guys I can't even count there's a minus one there but then there's a plus four here so it has a plus three so how do I bring that down to a plus one I gotta add two electrons to the left side as well I apologize Last problem, tripping me up. So the question is, uh, what is the H plus in its location? Well, there's four H plus on the left. All right, I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in class, okay, bye.